Well, good morning, guys. Uh, it's not the sort of thing I normally do. And how am I going to follow those two there? Absolutely brilliant, it is. Uh, my story is a little bit different. You've just left school. You're going to leave school. I left school in 1963. Right. Was it 63? Yes, in 1963. Um, when I was at school, I wanted to be a jet pilot or a teacher. My mother said, I don't think you're going to be a jet pilot. You get travel sick tra going on the bus to Wigan. So I had no chance of that. I don't know how they taught me how to be a teacher. That's my one regret. But anyway, I went to a school in Wigan, and whilst I was at school, uh, I worked on a farm. I worked evenings and weekends, uh, milking cows, helping deliver sheep, cleaning up, driving tractors. Absolutely brilliant. As a young lad, it was brilliant. I had all this freedom. There were ponds to fishing, so it's absolutely brilliant, the farming. But I, there's no way I could do that for the rest of my life. When I left school, I went to work at a factory in Leyland that made horse pipes, belting, and everything. And I had a couple of years there, didn't really like it, and moved to a factory in Eccleston, where I lived, that was a textile mill. And I worked in the drawing office and we were designing different things. And whilst I was there, I went to college and I got an OMC in engineering. Right. But I got made redundant. They started closing some of the, the textiles as clothing. And uh, I went to a firm called Leyland Paints. I don't think Leyland Paints exists anymore. They had a factory in Whittle. And I worked in the warehouse and we were putting orders together. We were loading up wagons. I can even tell you. How many boxes of wallpaper go in a, uh, a 20 foot container? There's 1,200 actually. Um, it was an absolutely brilliant job for two years. The people were brilliant. But one, and one thing I have to say, you lads, and Matthew was on about it the people around you can make the job. They can, if they're nice people and you can work with them. And oh, it was fantastic, you know. But I thought, I'm wasting the time here. So I um, applied to go to British Aerospace and they were taking lots of people on then because they were building Tornado. I had an interview. I had an interview and the guy was asking me all sorts of questions. And then he said, have you got a question? And just think about this. And I said, yes. I said, what? I said how do I get your job? And he offered me the job there and then. And within five years, I was on his grade. And I became a superintendent there. And I worked there for 26 years. Some of it was brilliant. Some of it was absolutely awful. The pressure at times was awful. But I worked with nice people. And all the time, you know, you, you look at the people that you're working with. right? And um, I took redundancy from there, I'd had enough, and I had a bit of a break, and then I had two of the best jobs ever, caring for grandchildren, Mrs. Cobham's daughter, and I have four more grandchildren, and we also fostered children for 10 years. That was an absolutely wonderful job. I know you won't be doing this, but that was absolutely brilliant. And we had children from oh, all walks of life, all different sorts of problems, and uh, it, it, it was absolutely wonderful. Then a friend of mine, John Rigby, who uh, has a garage in Eccleston, a sitting garage in Eccleston, said, can you give me a lift for six weeks? I said, yeah, I can do that. So I went down and said, I want you to clean cars, balloting new cars and second-hand cars. I said, yeah, I haven't been looking at that. <laughs> I haven't. And uh, so, yeah, those um, six weeks went on for six years. And then I had a break because I had, I had cancer. And um, I was walking past 12 months later and I was feeling pretty good. He said, what are you doing tomorrow? I said, 
not a lot come in. So, and I've been there supposedly retiring for the last seven years, right? Now, car cleaning is simple, isn't it? You've all seen your dad do it, yeah? Bucket, sponge, that's it. Well, it's a little bit more than that. Um, that's not a bad car, really, the second-hand cars that come in. That's pretty clean inside. It is. Believe me, that is clean. It is. You have to take the mats out. You've got to hoover inside. And hopefully, when you've done that, yeah, that's me hoovering inside. It, it's a little bit cleaner. And you have to shampoo it. And you spray it with deodorant. You name it. Right? Then it comes to polishing. That's the bonnet of a car that's got a load of polish on. And that's a special polish on that because that car is the black one. And you, you have special polish that really brings out the shine. Right? And I think there's the finished car. Right? And if you look at that car, it's about, what is it? Oh, it's only 12 months old. And uh, it's absolutely sparkling. It is. Now, um, I've lost my track now. We're going, yeah. So we have to do everything. We have to do the windows. We have to do the roof inside. We have to do the wheels. We have to do the tires under the bonnet. Everything's done. And it'll take, a second-hand car will take you a good part of a day to do. But you can do it. You're at your own pace. It's brilliant. We've had some young lads in on work experience. And they really enjoy it. And, um, you know, if you get a chance to go to a garage, and they'll let you do some cleaning, do it. If it's just washing cars on a Saturday morning, you know. Um, I work with a great group of people. Um, the fact that my daughter works there, my son-in-law works there as well. His, his dad owns a garage. Um, but, and it's a family firm. And I think Matthew uh, pointed out a few times about the people you're working with. And, Maybe you shouldn't be with this lot here. But on a Friday night, it's beer night. When we finish on the Friday, we bring down the box of beer and we sit round and we have a drink and a chat, you know. And that's the sort of company that it is, right? And that's about it. But I've got something here. Can I have a couple of volunteers? Yeah, we've got one. Have you only got one? <laughs> well, I can put it on here, can't I? Let's lift it up. Put the gloves on. So what we're doing here, Frank? What are we doing? Yeah. Right. What? And saying what, what you're doing here. They're going to they're going to try and polish this. Fantastic. So what yeah. are we using there? They're, they're going to use. That's the polish they're going to use. It's the polish that we use. Important to put gloves on as well. Yes. It's all. Just, I've even got a new sponge for you. Yeah. There's a lot of health and safety mm. involved. Not the yeah. <laughs> Oh, I'm not picking the cloth up. Yeah. Do you want me to go get a cup of cloth? Yeah. Yeah. Are you right? Yeah. Right, come here. Yeah. Uh, mine's, my gloves are already on. They can be all right. Do this. <laughs> You'll do. You'll do. Catherine's gone to get a couple of cloths from. Oh, I see that. Forgot my cloth in the car. Who's first? Go on, you the first to get up. Or do you do that bottom bit? Go on, turn it. Yeah. Swell it round. Go on. All over. Good lad. 
Go on. <laughs> Go on. All the way along there. Who wants to play Mr. Welsh's card? Oh, oh, it's time. <laughs> <laughs> right, that, that's all right. This could be a new what year of like an enterprise. That? No, you do that there. Your child you can reach. <laughs> Get that mark off there. Go on. Look for mark, mark, Jake, mark. I thought you were going into business doing that. Go on. That's it. <laughs> oh. Let's put a bit more on. Let's put a bit more on. You can do that, do that bit there. Have you cleaned your dad's car? You'll have to do. Right, Mrs. Mrs. Coven's coming back now. You can polish it off now. So the polish has gone on. Yep, the polish is on. Now you're going to wax off. The wax it off now. Go on. Go on. How are you going to that? Go on. You have to give it a bit of elbow. Yeah, you have to polish it hard. <laughs> Oh, you have to polish harder than that. Go on, don't find the way you did it. Is that it? That's it now. You're getting the action now, Tyler. Go on. And you're just winning that there. It's gone. Right, go on, lift it up now. Look oh, at the look shine on that now. Hey, you look at the shine on that. Hey, well done, man. So, well, I, think that, I, I think that's about it. Wonderful stuff. Wonderful. And, Has anybody and, got any questions for Frank? Obviously, Frank's been um, in um, uh, at the other end of his career, aren't you? You've done an awful lot of different jobs. Yeah, I've done too much. <laughs> of these. And now you're as in your retiring years, you're doing the balancing, aren't you? Is that what yeah. you're sort of... So, we've got some questions. Who have we got, John? Our every job that you've had, what's your favourite? <laughs> I've got, I've got you in agent, so I'm not. So, go on. What's been your favourite job out of all the jobs you've done? Oof. I think um, there's a bit in everything, really. At Aerospace, I had some very good friends there, and we had some really, really good times. Um, but and the job I'm doing now, Valentin, there's no pressure. It's all right. I can go into work. I can smile, clean the car, and I go home. And I have nothing to worry about, right? Um, and I, I enjoyed the I've enjoyed most of the jobs, you know. I mean, when I, when I worked in the warehouse and we were loading um, wagons, the, the guy in charge there was an absolutely brilliant singer. And he sang all sorts, semi operatic, and everybody joined in singing. And in the office upstairs, they could all hear him, you know. And every day you went in, what's he going to be singing today? And we had a great, a, a lot of my job, there's been a, a lot of enjoyment, you know. Um, I've had days where I've not wanted to go in, you know. And, and everybody will have days like that. You'll have days like that here, you know, you know the pressure that, that's coming. But you, you get a try and enjoy it. And somebody once told me, walk, when you walk into work, have a smile on your face. Because people think, what does he know that I don't know? He's smiling. What's he smiling about? You know? And if you, if you smile, the chances are somebody will smile back. You know? So, but every job's been, uh, been good. Brilliant.
Anybody else got any questions? I've got a question for Anne and last year. So Harry wants to know what was the best thing about when you worked at the farm? Um, right. Um, helping deliver sheep, that deliver lambs, and deliver calves when they're being born. That was the best thing. And teaching, teaching calves how to drink milk out of a bucket. Do you know what to do with that? You get a bucket of milk and you put your fingers in it and let them suck your fingers and you put it in and they carry on sucking, take your fingers out and all of a sudden they can drink out of a bucket. Anybody else? How's your job right now? How's your job right now? Good. Good. I've just told them, I'm not, I'm not coming in tomorrow. I said, I'm doing a very important job at Astley Park School. All right. So they said, will we see you later on for a beer? Yes. <laughs> Anybody else? Anybody? Whose car is it? Whose car is that? Um, I don't know. It's for sale, that one, if you're interested. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else? Any more questions? Fantastic. Katie. Yeah. Did you like cleaning the car you worked? Do you like cleaning the cars? Yes. I do. I quite enjoy it. I do. And it's nice when the car comes in and it's really dirty. And when it goes out, it's nice and shiny, and somebody says, oh, you've done a good job there. Because uh, my boss tends to go around and say, hey, I like that one, it's a good job. You know, especially when you get a bonus. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think random applause for Frank. <laughs>